And yes, my car is getting probably flooded right now. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. I do want to apologize in advance for all the noise you're going to hear in the background. It is because it's raining outside, as you can see. It looks terrible out there. And yes, my car is getting probably flooded right now. Anyways, one more thing I do want to say before I start is that I really need you guys to do me a huge favor. I need every single one of you that's watching this video right now to subscribe. But not only that, I need you guys to share it with your friends. Or not even just share it with your friends. Like, make sure they subscribe as well. If they're a sneakerhead, make sure they subscribe to this channel. I see the way this channel is growing. And I feel like I'm getting my subscribers back pretty quick. I mean, I know I'm only at 630 something, 640. Whatever it is. I feel like once you guys find the channel, you guys are hitting that subscribe button right away. So it would help a lot if you guys tell your friends to subscribe. If they're just a sneakerhead overall. And just start watching the videos. So it would help a lot if you guys tell your friends to subscribe because because I do want to get this channel back to where it was. We were almost at 25,000 subscribers before my channel got shut down. And that's exactly where I want to be. I want to be even higher than that, of course. I just want to keep going. But I need the R squad to get back to where it was. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get on with the video. So as you guys might have read by the title, I told you guys not to cop any of the Louis Vuitton and Supreme collab. And the reason for that being is because I feel like the resale is going to go down on the collab. From what I heard is that the collab is not limited. My friend was telling me that he was like 110th in line. And he was able to cop the Christopher book bag. He was able to cop a crew neck. He was still able to cop things. And he was 110th in line. That just shows how much there is of this collab. And this was only the pop and the pop-up didn't have everything of the collection. They only had certain things. So imagine when the real release comes on July 14th, it just shows that there's going to be a lot more quantity. There's going to be full inventory on all their items. So that means it's going to be pretty easy to cop. At least I feel like it's going to be that way. Don't get me wrong, there's still going to be a long line. There's going to be a lot of people waiting because they do want to cop the collab for retail because there's obviously going to be resale, but the resale is not going to be as high as you expect it to be. Like, it's not going to be as high as it is right now. But as for the things that are worth reselling, I think it'd be the box logo hoodie, the box logo t-shirt, but not the crew neck. For some reason, the crew neck is kind of hard to get off your hands once you buy it like my friend has one and he can't sell it for some reason he just told me that yesterday what i feel like is worth reselling is the little things such as like the little leather pouch maybe the wallet but the wallet's gonna go down and resell i would say maybe the iphone cases the little keychains here and there and also the name tags i don't know if you guys noticed but all of the things i just said what they do have in common is that they're cheap and what's good about them being cheap is that people can afford them at retail which means they will sell out and once things sell out they do happen to have a resale value so once those things sell out people will be reselling them especially since it's a louis vuitton and supreme collab so that being said if you're looking to resell something out of this collab i say you buy the cheapest things because that's what most people are going to go for like when i thought of it i'm like damn i can't i can't drop like a grand on an iphone case or If I do go to the release on the 14th, I'm probably just gonna buy the cheapest things. Just like I said, I'll probably buy like a little wallet case. Like just, I've been wanting one. All I have right now is like this money clip right here and I really don't like it. It's ugly. I don't know if I get the red one or the black one. I probably get the black one because it's actually more, it's more like sophisticated. Like the red one seems a little bit childish, but it is Supreme. So I don't know. That's why I want to buy the red one. And it is different to have a red wallet or like a red leather wallet, even though it's not exactly a full wallet. It's like a little case, like a wallet case. I don't even know what you want to call it. They call it, they have some like French name or Italian name, wherever Louis Vuitton is from, they have that name for it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Out of the leather goods, those are the things that I would buy. Out of the accessories, I most likely buy probably the bandana. Honestly, I'd probably buy it just for the videos because you guys see me wearing a bandana a lot now. It would be dope to have a Supreme bandana, especially the red one. I don't like the brown one that much. It doesn't I mean it is like the Louis Vuitton colors, but I just don't like the way it looks. I feel like the red is more supreme. It does pop more. It, just, it is gonna be like it's gonna be more flashy, I guess if you want to call it. The hat, I don't think it's gonna resell that much. The pillow might resell. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. The scarf, who the hell's really gonna wear the scarf? People are just gonna have it to have it. The gloves, people are just gonna have it to have it, just to say they have it. The glasses, I don't think they're gonna resell. I think they're gonna have I think they're gonna maybe just a little bit of resale But it's gonna go down once they release the 14th again the belts are probably gonna stay the same Actually, no, the belts might have resale because belts are popular from Louis Vuitton and now it's a supreme collab So it's gonna be probably worth a lot more like I said the keychains the bottle openers actually damn the keychains are 730 or the key holder Oh, it's because it comes both it's a key holder and a bag charm come together either in the brown color or the red color The bottle opener is 480. I don't know if that's gonna resell. That's pretty that's a lot for a bottle opener The thing is that there's people out there that will actually pay for this stuff, which is crazy There's a key holder bag charm, which is going for 290 less than 300 dollars, but after taxes is definitely gonna go up to over $300 and I feel like that's gonna resell like for a little bit more maybe double the price maybe double your profit on that I can't tell right now the only thing I can tell is that the rumor of like the prices of the resale it's gonna go down so that's all I can tell you guys I can't tell you where the prices are gonna be because right now even the prices are fluctuating they're like some people are selling it higher some people are selling it for like, like the box logo hoodie people are selling it for 4,000 some people are selling it for like 2,000 just to make their quick profit which is smart it's honestly the best tactic to do right now because it's gonna go down in the end and as and as far as the clothing goes the box logo t-shirt is gonna go it's gonna resell like crazy as well like the shirt's only $485. That's pretty good for a box logo from Supreme and Louis Vuitton. I thought about buying it, but I heard the quality is like, it's very thin. It's a very thin shirt. I feel like I'm probably going to wear the shirt a lot. And when you wear a shirt a lot, it starts to get holes in it. It starts to rip and stuff. Especially it's a shirt. Like who really takes care of a shirt like that? You're not going to walk around and be like really careful about your shirt. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is that that's dope is a denim over shirt, but the red one, it looks like a baseball tee. It looks pretty damn sick. I'm not going to lie, but it's $860 for the denim one. I don't know how much the other one's going to be. I think I heard somewhere that the red items might be worth a little bit more. Don't know why, probably because it's 
red and supreme is like that's their main color the only reason i say is don't buy this collab to resell is because it's a sketchy collab to resell on like i thought about it i'm like damn you could really make a lot of money on it but when you think about it like on another level a lot of people can get it and there's only so many limited people that will pay resale for it. there's obviously people that don't want to wait outside the line 24 to 48 hours just to get 10 items and possibly resell half of them there's those rich people out there that will pay the resale so that's a good thing but if you don't have a market or you don't have a customer already that's ready to buy it beforehand then i don't think it's worth it because you're probably most likely going to be sitting on those items it's a very thin line between reselling them and getting stuck with them so the only reason i'll tell you to go out there and buy it for resale is, is if you have people that are actually going to buy it from you i'm just letting you know it's not going to be easy resale anyways guys that's all i really have to say for this release if you guys do want me to go out to the pop-up like i have a few friends going and i'll probably just go out there and just like say what's up to them and while i'm there i'll probably vlog i don't know it depends on you guys if you guys want me to vlog and then show you guys like how the lines are like maybe do an interview with people be like yo what are you looking for what do you want i think that'd be pretty dope actually let me know and i'll do that like i'll go out there and interview people not also that but leave suggestions down in the comments below of like what you guys would want to see on this channel like i know i just do a bunch of sneaker stuff but do you guys want me to do also more fashion stuff as well make it like even even make a schedule on when i do fashion stuff make a schedule when i do like sneaker stuff i don't know let me know in the comments below anyways guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe let's actually set a goal right now let's try to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month so we do have around 21 days and i'm pretty sure once we hit a thousand i'm pretty sure we'll just fly off from there because that's how my channel was before and i'm pretty sure it'll happen again so let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers one more thing before i go i do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day and today that is kenna underscore fresh underscore Big shout out to you, bro. You did enter the giveaway for the month. If you guys want to join the end of the month giveaways, make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and be one of the first people to comment notification squad on the latest video. And if you're one of the first people to comment, you will be fan of the day for the next video. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. Well. Our sneaky sign out.